মোহাম্মদ আব্দুল কাদের মাহবুব Okay, Patricia, uh, shall I start now? Uh, just, uh, just some instructions to us um, before starting the meetings today. Uh, we will run the program properly according to the same rules. After the first 40 minutes, we will log in again. Just uh, since I'm using uh, always Prime June. If anybody wants to share something, uh, we will give you a chance to talk. Otherwise, we will remain mute while the speaker speaks. We will sincerely try to keep our meeting environment transparent and beautiful. Thanks to all newcomers to the program and we hope you will join us in the future. I'm little, uh, just uh, present time uh, to this, I'm little bit sick. Um, there's not major issue, just a seasonal fever. <coughs> um, it is notable that we will try to keep the discussion short. Getting to everyone on our program. This is a regular program of World Educator Bangladesh chapter. Today is our 31st episode. 31st. So grateful to everyone from home and abroad who have been with me sincerely so far and hope to be in the future. The topic of our discussions today is universal design for learning. Um, I think that uh, this um, it is uh, most um, important and reliable uh, and uh, and inform information in, 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 in basically teaching informative uh, topics. So first of all, I would like to request Patricia, please just opening remarks about our today's topic. All right, okay. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, teachers of the world. Well, today the topic is universal design for learning. Well, universal design for learning is a very powerful tool in uh, 21st century education. Um, it is important to, um, to highlight the fact that universal design for learning, also known as UDL, is closely connected with diversity. This means that they form a binomial and they are inseparable. Research shows that we are, uh, uh, um, the way we learn is as unique, hmm? Uh, as our fingerprints. This means that in the classroom, mm, uh, we have different types of students. Homogeneous classes do not exist. Mm. But in spite of that, we are still having a traditional model which promotes this type of um, one size fits all method. Today, we know that diversity is present and um, as new methodologies focus on the learner, that is say, and on the process of learning, we need to pay attention to how students learn more than what they learn. Um, UDL is uh, an educational framework which uh, minimizes uh, barriers and maximizes learning for all, um, for all learners. Um, in order to understand this better, let's unpack the term. First, the word universal. Universal means um, that uh, a curriculum should be used and understood by everyone. Remember that each child in the classroom is unique and he brings his background, <clears throat> his, uh, his potential, his needs, and his interest into the classroom and teachers should pay attention to that before deciding the contents. That's why one of the first procedures that should be taken uh, in the classroom where we start 
uh, and, uh, working with a new group of students at the beginning of the year is to get to know them. It is very important to know their strengths and their weaknesses because we need to know the type of students we are having in the classroom. If we ignore this, so this crucial uh, piece of information, we won't be able to design lessons and design uh, the um, school curriculum correctly. Um, well, then the, the term learning. We all know that learning is a complex uh, pro uh, process. Uh, it's not one thing. That's why when we think of learning, uh, we need to think about the what, the how, and the why of learning. And this information has been provided by neuroscience. Um, <clears throat> so if we know that um, homogeneous classes do not exist, and that one size fits all method is not effective, so how can we create um, a, a classroom, uh, sorry, a school curriculum which engages all students and at the same time challenges them? Well, for that, we need to consider now the term design. And let me draw a comparison. Um, a universally designed um, building is planned to accommodate all types of uh, users. For example, in the streets and in buildings, we have curves and ramps that are used by people in wheelchairs, by people uh, pushing strollers with their babies, uh, people on bikes, on skates, etc. Another example is captioning. Huh? Um, subtitles are used by deaf people but um, captioning is also used by students who are learning a foreign language. This means that everybody, eh, all users, mm, can, uh, uh, can use uh, these, uh, these examples I have just mentioned. Well, the same applies in learning. Universal Design for Learning was, creating, was created in 1984 by two American researchers, uh, David Rose and Anne Mayer. And what they did was very simple. They um, took the principles of universal design in architecture and applied them to education. So um, today we have this uh, uh, universal design for learning thanks to these two researchers. Well, when we use, or when we take into consideration, or we want to implement this um, uh, universal design for learning, um, we take into consideration the potential the students bring to class. And this is very, this is very important because um, when, when we want to implement this, this type of design, what is important? How? Hmm? First of all, in order to minimize these barriers uh, that are usually present, first, I need to consider what is my aim? What do I want my students know, do, and care about in my classes? Hmm? And after these two questions, I need to consider the barriers that may interfere hmm? Uh, the process of learning of my diverse students. That's why when we implement this UITEL um, uh, alternative form in education, uh, we need to create a special atmosphere which allows students be ready for the process of learning. At the same time, when we present new information, it should be presented in different formats so that students with different talents, different capacities, different needs will be able to understand eh, what I'm explaining. And finally, we should give students choices. That is to say, they should be able to, <clears throat> to uh, demonstrate what they have learned in different ways. 
That's why written tests at the end of a unit or at the end of a term are not effective. Normally, students hate these type of tests. Hmm? Personally, I don't like uh, written tests because I don't think that they are productive. On the contrary, remember that every class is a source of information and the type of uh, assessment we need in 21st century education is formative so that we need to follow and monitor the process of learning of our students to help them become long life, uh, lifelong learners. Um, so when we um, change the setup of the classroom, the students realize that they can learn in different ways that they can be evaluated also in uh, uh, taking into consideration um, different types. For example, when we have this type of um, uh, universal design for learning, uh, for evaluation, we prefer performance-based types. Why? Because the students can show what they have learned in different ways. The written form, the written test is just one but we know that it may work for some students, but not for others. That's why we should give the students the opportunity to, um, to show what they have learned. For example, um, making a video, if they are good at, at making videos, they can uh, prepare a short play, work cooperatively with their peers, and in a short play, they can introduce and, uh, and um, use the contents they have learned before, or for example, they can sing a song, a rap, whatever. They are free eh, to show what they have learned mm, um, in ways that work for them. This is what is important. Mm. So instead of using written forms, let's give them the opportunity to show their learning in different ways. And remember, that this promotes creativity because when students are allowed to present material or th that they have just learned in different ways, creativity is encouraged. And remember that in the 21st century education, creativity is one of the components hmm, which uh, help the students unleash their imagination. At the same time, they, um, uh, they work together. This means that uh, this type of design for learning promotes uh, collaboration, cooperation. The students work together. And this also encourages the fact that learning is a social process. So in a nutshell, when teachers implement UEDL, they are empowered. Why? Because they provide students with different types of learning. And they have the opportunities uh, to learn um, taking into consideration their own potential. This is what we need to pay attention to today. That's why students who are still having a traditional model, they tend to fail because uh, mistakes are not taken into account. They are not discussed uh, together. If necessary, we can devote a whole class eh, to fix mistakes because remember that mistakes are common. Mm -hmm. But when we have this uh, universal design for learning, the students become agents in their learnings. Why? Because they can control their learning. They, uh, they are given metacognitive strategies so that they may reflect and they can evaluate their own process of learning. So when we use this type of universal learning, everybody benefits. That's why I think that today this is the model of learning that should be implemented in our classroom uh, to be successful, not only students, but also teachers. Thank you very much. Thank you, Patricia, for your elaborate and insightful discussions. Uh, from your discussions, uh, we have uh, learned um, uh, undoubtedly true. In fact, every teacher uh, needs lesson planning for uh, teaching uh, her or his classroom. So um, uh, we will learn more new information from our um, rest of uh, negotiators. Uh, just I have uh, raised some questions. Uh, um, uh, first of all, I would like to, Laila, please unmute your microphone. Are you there, Laila? Laila Jacob, are you there? 
I don't think she is. Oh. Uh, Lala, are you there? Uh, probably she is not. Uh, yeah. Disconnected. Okay. Uh, Shagurika, please unmute your microphone. Uh, first of all, um, uh, welcome to our joining yeah. the program. Uh, good evening. Hello, Patricia. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Good to uh, surely to the hours uh, program, we have um, just to always see that new uh, face, uh, more new face. <laughs> huh? Yes, new faces. Yeah. Um, just um, yeah. Shagarika, please uh, have the questions. Why is universal design for learning valuable in today's education? Yeah, the universal design of learning, first of all, the universal design of learning is according to me. I mean, the universal design of learning is just learning from nature. You know, from every country from nature. From nature, yeah. Yeah, from nature, because nature always nurtures. Nature always nurtures. So that's the universal way of just learning because a child, when the child is born, the child doesn't go to school for at least five years. But how does the, how does the child learn is only through nature. The child observes, uses the senses and learns, you know. So the universal design, there is the universal is only nature where people learn. And uh, going to um, Mamtaz's uh, question, that is, why is it important? Why is it important is because wherever you are, it is irrespective of what race you are, what uh, culture you are from, what country you are from, what religion you are from, what gender you are, irrespective of everything, nature always nurtures everyone everyone nature never ever discriminates never ever discriminates amongst anyone so that is the universal learning and it is very important for us to learn from mother nature from to learn from the seasons that see that there's nothing permanent in life as seasons change times change when seasons change you learn from your you learn from your from the trees you know what do you learn from the trees that the heavy fruits the heavy fruits always grow close to the earth whereas the light fruits are on top you know so the more the more weight you have you need to be grounded whenever you grow you need to be grounded that is something you learn from nature then also you learn about seasons and weathers from nature. And then you also learn, you know, that uh, from, a, from a fruit, that is from a seed, from a seed, it turns to a big fruit, from a big fruit, it turns to a ripe fruit. So when you are a child, from a child, you mature and when you mature, you grow, you know. So that is what somebody learns from nature from a fruit and also you learn from caterpillars you learn from the caterpillars that when the caterpillar is in a cocoon how the caterpillar struggles to come out of the cocoon and if you break that particular cocoon beforehand the caterpillar dies so natural growth the metamorphosis the metamorphosis of life to change from uh, you know from stages of life is very important and it has to be very slow and steady so if you break the cocoon beforehand if you break the egg for that matter if you break the egg the chick also inside dies yeah so it is all a natural process and we really need to respect this natural process and not teach children before the time arrives everything has to be everything has a chronolog chronological age to be taught so when we learn from nature, it is always the best way of learning. And there is no country which is devoid of nature. Every country has a nature, has nature in it. So we just need to leave, leave the children loose and let them just learn from nature that how the river flows, how the river divides itself into tributaries. And though the river, river divides itself into various tributaries, it, it is never ever short of water. So this is what knowledge is about. That knowledge also, the more you share knowledge it's never going to deplete there's never depletion the more you share it only increases so th this is what it is you know so nature nurtures once again so that is the universal way of learning is to learn from nature according to me thank you very much <laughs> thank you shagurika for your elaborate discussion and insightful discussion uh, thanks to again um, just um, in this stage, I want to just introduce our newcomer.
Who will say first? We would like to know where you are from. Hello. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ma'am Mutazafa, ma'am. How are you? Fine. Hello, Patricia. Where? How are you? Um, Fine. I'm Esma Kasali from Bangladesh. I'm a, a project trainer. Uh, my subject is SDP, Steel Development Project. Thank you very much. Okay. Welcome. Uh, and next, please. Uh, Mohammed Abdul, Abdul, I just. Burhan Khalifa, Burhan We would like to know just where you are from, because here we are a community and it is very interesting, uh -huh. interesting to know the places you are from, because we are sharing education, hmm? education around the world. So if we know your nationalities, it is much better to share information. That's it. Where you are from, that's the information that we need. Just for our audience, uh, does anybody say something about our program? Uh, Afa, actually, uh, I think a uh, few uh, members are joined uh, uh, the, in their curiosity. And so uh, maybe uh, they are feel ashamed to say something. But I'm uh, 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 Georgia, uh, Ms. Inga Karsilava, uh, professor of uh, biology. And maybe she is uh, ashamed to say something. Uh, can I call her? Yes. Okay. Inga? Uh, Ms. Inga Kassila, hello. Can you, okay, yes. please kindly hello. introduce hello. Uh, hello. shortly. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Hello, everyone. Warm greetings Hi. from Georgia. Hello. I'm very happy today. Uh, yes, I wish you good luck, everyone. I am teacher, geography and internship basis. Uh, also, I am teacher collegium. Uh, yes. And uh, I am trainer teacher, junior achievement Georgians programs also. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Well, that's great that you are from Georgia. Well, we need people from Georgia to see how you work and what you do there in education. I think that there are many things in common. Good. <laughs> thank oh, you yes, for thank your you. information. Many more teachers are um, involve our global family. The, the Is first, any like a Echo question? Is anybody? Uh, Ektara Kinero. she is our global family member. Uh, she's from Georgia. Yes, yes, Good. yes. Also. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here. Is anyone from Egypt here? Nobody's from Egypt. Hidia Riha Rahi, probably Hidia Riha. Riyahi, uh, are you from? Unmute your microphone, please. Okay. Welcome. I'm Riyahi Hedia, French teacher from Tunisia. Uh, Tunisia, good. That's great. You're welcome. Nice to see you here. Welcome. Thank you. If you want to say something nice about our program, nice please to see you. carry on. Okay. Yes, sir. I think I think many uh, Bengalis are here from Bangladesh. Uh, let you allow them to talk, maybe in English or Bangla, so they can at least introduce by themselves. Acha, apna jara ekhane Bangladesh thi kongshon kore chen. Ami tadher ke bolchi. Apna apna der pori chiti ta ek tu bolun. Englishi to bolte paren, Bangla bolte paren. Better we will trust it. Never mind. So let us start. Take when you actually have a spontaneous action of both departments. It's going to show us. I'm not sure. I actually have a seat at a borrow on the wish is very matter of great joy that we all are here together as a, a, a teachers or a teacher educator or anyhow related with teaching. That's really very great opportunity for us to introduce one another by themselves. 
so we can just uh, go in your heart and we will try to understand what you are understanding about education and how can we improve our knowledge through you that's really a very good opportunity for us আমি বাংলায় বলছি স্যার প্রশিক্ষণ নিয়েছি স্যার সেটা দুই হাজার ছয় সালে তারপর স্যার আমি শিক্ষকের সাথে যুক্ত হই স্যার আপনাদের বিভিন্ন সেশন আমি যুক্ত হই আর আপনাকে মাঝে সেশন চলাকালীন সময় আপনি টেক্সট করেছিলাম তারপর থেকে স্যার যখন দেখলাম যে আপনি বিভিন্ন সেশনে যুক্ত হন তারপর থেকে আপনি বিভিন্ন টিউটোরিয়াল আমি দেখি আমার কাছে খুবই ভালো লাগে আপনাকে স্যার মন থেকে খুব শ্রদ্ধার সহিত আমি আমার অন্দর থেকে হ্যাঁ আমি কি বলবো এখন একটা জিনিস একটু জানতে চাই আপনি যে প্রাইমারি স্কুলে শিক্ষকতা করছেন কোভিড চলাকালীন সময় আপনারা কিভাবে বাচ্চাদেরকে এনগেজমেন্ট এনেছেন অভিভাবকদের সাথে কিভাবে সংযুক্ত হয়েছেন আমরা যারা এখানে আছি তারা চার মিনিট পরে আমরা আবার রিজয়েন করব clicking in our link or by writing our password so when we will just go out please join <laughs> again then we can just talk uh, with one another and uh, right now uh, 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 what's your name center eto khon je kotha bollen apnar ki naam sayed mohammad kal na shajib na shajib shajib কোয়ালিটি in my uh, in covid situation we take many initiative to involve our children and parents so that's really he did a very uh, good task and whenever he get any time he try to join in a group like this to gain knowledge so we have to welcome him in our session and i hope in future he will be with us thank you shoji for your spontaneous speaking thank you sir thank you uh, sir sir i like to say something yes, sir i like to say something yes yes please yes please bolo can i say something sir bolo aap ki bolte hain yes 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 bangladesh sure. yes please ha you just introduce yourself uh, uh, from uh, i i have come here for the first time sir I have okay, come here for the first time. Uh, this is the first time that you My are here. Very nice. Very My name is Mohammad Mijan Rahman. Very good. My name is Mohammad Mijan Rahman. Yes. I am an assistant teacher. Jamalpur district. Very good. Very nice. Very nice to meet you. It is Thank very you. Uh, it is very great fortunate for me. Right. That's Where? like this well. Very Where good. are you from? I haven't heard. Oh, he is from Bangladesh. Ah, okay. And, uh, this is the first time that he is going to join here. Yeah, and he welcome. He is trying to speak English. I think after a few days he will be able to speak like us. You don't be afraid of it. You don't have to 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 be afraid of it. But you don't have to be afraid of it. And you don't have to be afraid of it. 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 আর আমরা যারা কথা শুনি তারা অনেক সময় হয়তো 
ধরেন আপনি যখন এক্সপ্রেস করেন আপনি ঠিকমতো বলতে পারেন না কিছু গ্রামারের ভুল হয় কিছু ভোকাবুলারি ভুল হয় আমরাও এই বয়সে সেই ভুলগুলো করি কিন্তু আমরা বুঝে নেই ঠিক ঠিক বুঝে নেই কোনো সমস্যা নাই আই জাস্ট টোল্ড হিম দ্যাট ওয়েন উই আর টকিং ইন এনি অ্যানাদার ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ ইন দ্য বিগিনিং ইট মাইট বি এ প্রবলেম ফর আস বাট ইউ হ্যাভ টু স্পিক বিকজ দ্য লিসেনার উইল অ্যাবল টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড ইউ হোয়েন এভার দে উইল আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড ইউর ভোকাবুলারিজ দে উইল মেক দ্য গ্রামার অ্যান্ড সেন্স অটোমেটিক্যালি using their teaching materials methods and ways inside the classroom you want to know that that's very nice you are very curious uh, whenever the people those who are here whenever you listen them you will understand how they are changing their educational program they are applying their i Salud sir please continue space where is he maybe he will come within a few days uh, dear foreign uh, friends uh, i would like to uh, say that uh, some people from our country from bangladesh they really wanted to know many things but the barrier is language because they want to express many things so i allowed them to speak in bangla thereby i will translate in english and uh, now uh, they will feel uh, better to join in our session and to express their ideas and in that way if anybody uh, feel shy uh, don't be shy you just start to speak maybe you can just add some vocabularies we will try to understand what you want to express maybe someone is expert who can just translate you so in that way we might able to understand you Uh, and uh, nowadays the world is in our grips this is very simple you just getting ideas throw by movies throw by cartoon throw by gesture and person even by showing some writing so you can just come in that way it's very very, very good uh, ideas that we are here it's very important now now is there anyone who wants to say anything yeah, uh, 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 I want to say something. Yes sir. Yes sir. Please. I am Syed Muhammad Kalar. Welcome to everybody. Uh, I am a general secretary of Bangabandhu Okko Parishad. Uh, Shikha Karmachari Okko Parishad of Bangladesh. That's good. Uh, you are leading. Yeah. From first, uh, I, from uh, starting, I join, but uh, my mobile sound system disturbs, so I miss. past uh, 30 minutes so i am sorry to miss uh, past lecture uh, uh, we all know that uh, today's topic uh, is universal design for no. learning no, uh, we know that universal design for learning is an educational framework based on research in the learning science including uh, cognitive neuroscience that guides the development of flexible learning environments and learning a space that can accommodate we use universal design for learning into classroom by 7 os number 1 no your students strengths and weakness number 2 use digital uh, materials when possible 
number three share content in a variety of ways number four offer choice for how students demonstrate their knowledge number five take advantage of software supports number six low and no teach options do exit number seven learn from others this, this is my uh, second time to join today's program uh, uh, actually uh, i have to engage a uh, uh, political parties program and social work so uh, i miss this program i like the uh, i love very much uh, this program thanks all to hear my lecture with that passion thank you very much uh, you are really leading our society and you are just uh, became a hub for the education as you have to connect it with many organization so you can just uh, disseminate the ideas what we are sharing here and how should we <coughs> give some we can have some contribution uh, for the education thank you very much you are really uh, well, well. working very hard very very good okay is, is there any bangali apra bolben assalamu alaikum yes please ha tale amra bidishi der kotha shuni ha bolen স্যার আমি বাংলাদেশ স্যার বাংলাদেশ থেকে স্যার জি বলুন হ্যাঁ হি ইজ फ्रॉम বাংলাদেশ প্লিজ স্পিক আউট স্যার আমি মোহাম্মদ আব্দুল কাদের সহকারী শিক্ষক সহকারী শিক্ষক এবং আইসিটি ফর এমবাসাডর কুমিল্লা Okay, uh, he's an assistant teacher and he's working in uh, uh, computer science and he's enhancing uh, uh, the ability of the teachers and children to work with them. Okay, then, Bole. Sir, our school is called Kashinagar Sarkari Pratham Vidyalaj, Chodhogram Kumilla. Sir, I am your exam sattra, sir. खुब भलो लगे सर अनेक किस Uh, you just continue with uh, us then you will able to understand everything uh, gradually thereby you will get lot of friends so you can just communicate with them so we will listen you in later whenever you will come back again ar kyo achen bangali je kotha bolben bhalo to apnar kotha bola shuru koreche assalam alaikum ha wa alaikum assalam please ami muhammad shafiur rahman program shikar कार्यक्रम समयकालीन समय Really? Okay. Okay. Uh, he uh, took many initiative at the time of COVID, 
he took many classes uh, through computer, online, and television. He tried to uh, uh, keep uh, his uh, understanding to disseminate all the ideas to the parents also. In this way, he contributed many things, and he liked to join a program like this. Anyway, thank you very much. In future, we'll listen to you. Uh, now, Mamataz. Yes, sir. You can yes, sir. move to our foreign foreign guest and you just request them to, uh, as like as before, you just continue your uh, session. Uh, first, uh, first of all, thank you. Uh, we are glad to meet you all. And I hope that uh, you will be stay uh, with all of with us, uh, our next session. Uh, from now, you are all of uh, global family member. So that um, uh, we'll return to our main discussions. Thank you. Um, Lila, please unmute your microphone. Right. Uh, just can you clear me what are the benefits and challenges universal designs for learning? Hey, very good evening to one and all present over here. I'm really happy to welcome all the new members on behalf of our uh, Bangladesh uh, education sector. So the thing is that when we are already thinking in a universal manner, Today's topic is uh, exactly matching with that, I believe, because here we are coming, you know, we are coming closer. Today, we are seeing so many people from Bangladesh as well as from other country also. So it is a matter of pleasure for me as well as all the members of this family who were joining with us, just like uh, Patricia Mam, Tamsudin sir, and even uh, Sagarika Mam, Mamdas Mam, of course, uh, because she is the organizer, she, is, uh, she has taken the initiative. And uh, as far as the question to me, she has already put up, what are the challenges we are facing uh, when we are already introducing learning in the classroom? As we always say, the classroom is already heterogeneous. It is not homogeneous. In a family also, we cannot find that even though the children and the parents and the grandchildren will be there, then also we can see that homogeneity is not able to be maintained. Sometimes the son and the mother may be having the same trade. Sometimes the father and the daughter may be having the same trade. But it may not be the same as that of the grandchildren or the in-laws, daughter-in-laws or son-in-laws. Daughter son but that doesn't mean that there will be disunity. This is the first thing I want to tell because from the family, we learn how to cope up with or how to ensure unity. That particular moral, if we are getting from the family as a good human being, surely in the classroom, when the teacher goes, when she, she, see, she sees different flowers, blooming flowers, looking upon her, considering her the role model or the heroine or the hero, then surely the teacher will be able to impart that particular design which is required for the children. As we always say that the traditional method was already there. Now the traditional method, we have to give up. I will say we have to give up. I think all the educators, those who are already assembled over here, they will agree with me. Now the old method has already been given up. We have to forget about the old method. Totally not, but 90% I can say it has gone. Whether you are, we are using any of the traditional method, we have come to the conclusion that that is not the last week we have discussed about how to maintain or how to ensure global competence. Global competence and globalism has already become a very burning issue now. We cannot live independently. We are living interdependent. We are depending upon each other. How? Because now, when our uh, respected members are speaking, they spoke in Bangla. But little bit we were able to understand, because I am from India. I was able to understand little bit. Not much. But we paid attention. That you attention mean, seeker. Who is attention seeker? Yeah, the yeah, yeah. attention seeker. 
the teacher in the classroom as well as the students in the classroom. Both of them are already been sharing that attention, sharing that attention. For that, the teacher has to find out certain devices, which is universal design. Universal design for learning. Mamda's ma mama stole universal design for learners, but I will say universal design for learners and teachers. <laughs> Sorry to tell that because when the teachers are sticking to that, that stigma is there. No, I am great. I know everything. I have learned a traditional method, so I will learn, I will teach only traditional thing. No, time is changing. We have to change according to the change in the time. So we have to leave that stigma, let it go. And then think about the children, those who are sitting in the class. So we have to find out different devices which are useful for them. For that, we have to mainly depend upon what we are doing now. The digitalization, the digital method of learning, e-reading, e-learning, e and even e-teaching too. So that the children will find that interest where their interest is, not my interest or your interest. Let the children understand the topic. Let the children come up with their ideas, whatever content they have already got. Let them have the freedom in the class. If you ensure freedom in the class, if you give freedom to the children to think in their own way, according to the concept you have delivered, surely we will be able to bring that universal design of learning as well as teaching what I have understood because we are already living in this uh, in this club we cannot say that I am separate I am already been away from that we are not apart we are coming together that coming together should be a beginning for a good thing initiative is already been taken the seed has already sown let it be let it become a plant and the plant will become a tree and it will be having the global ideas and surely we will be able to achieve that. Thank you so much to everyone. Thank you, Laila, for your <laughs> discussions and also I know that you are a good speaker and good knowledgeable person. So in this stage, I would like to Oga uh, Kung Fu, please, Oga Kung Fu. Uh, are you there, sir? No, probably they want to listen, just to listen to us. Probably they they, they want to know what uh, this type of uh, universal design is, and they prefer not to talk. Okay. That's, okay. Um, some, some of them are listeners, and it's great to have listeners, too. Uh, I'm talking about what you said, Laila. Let me okay, say okay, something. No, 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 no. No, Oga probably is on mute. Uh, Oga, please Who? say something. Who? If you want to say something about our program, please carry on. Well, I, I wanted to say something related to what Laila said. Huh? Before I forget, if you let me, Madmas. Um, you mentioned that teachers should be prepared, and this is completely true. Teachers are still thinking about the traditional method. And it is not their, their, their fault. It is uh, teacher training colleges are not teaching students for the 21st century to be global, to develop global competence and to use this type of universal learning. Because yeah, still, yeah, a tradition- I have just to you. I have, I have just interrupted to you. You mentioned in your uh, discussions about lesson planning. So just uh, in this test, I have a question. So how do I create a universal design lesson planning? For whom? Am I audible? Can you hear to me? Patricia? I, for me, the question. Ah, well, no, I was talking. Uh, just no, um, you interrupted me and I didn't know the reason. No, I, I, I say that I complete. Ah, sorry, Yoga, you are speaking. Hmm? I give the floor to you. Uh, just how do I create a universal design uh, for learning lesson plan? How do I create? The question is for Yoga. No, just for you. 
Ah, for me. Okay. Ah, okay. I thought, okay. 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 Be, because you, uh, you, um, uh, you mentioned in your discussions, previous discussions about lesson planning. So just in yeah. instance, I know just how do I create a universal design yeah. for learning lesson plan. Wow. Okay. Okay. So let me finish the idea because I, I was considering what Laila said. It is important to start the change at teacher training colleges so that teachers should be prepared uh, to teach 21st century education. Mm? So I, I think that we need to insist on this, especially those teachers who are uh, teaching, uh, trainee teachers. Mm? They are also responsible for that. Well, how can we plan um, a lesson taking into consideration the uh, UDL um, method? Well, first of all, uh, we need to consider the three principles mm, uh, of this model. Mm. First of all, engagement. And there are questions that we need to ask. Uh, when we uh, implement um, the universal design for learning, the first question is, um, are we creating a special atmosphere which uh, makes the students feel comfortable and ready to learn. Because this is the first step. Remember that we cannot start the process of teaching and learning if the students are not prepared. So a special climate should be created. Remember that some sessions ago I said, I cannot start my class saying, good morning, sit down, open your books. It's not like that. Eh? We need to create a, a, a special atmosphere. And in this case, when we are having this universal design, eh, all the students should know that diversity is respected. Mm? All the students are, um, uh, are following or are having the same opportunities to learn. Mm? For this reason, um, first, we need to think about the atmosphere. That is to say, engagement. Once Mm, this sort of engagement is present, I need to consider the second uh, principle that is representation. So the question is, am I um, introducing new topics to my students in ways that are accessible to them? Normally, uh, in the traditional model, what teachers do is to, pre to present something orally or using a video or um, um, it may be something recorded, and that's end of the story. But when we are having diversity in the classroom, we should be ready to present materials in different ways so that the students will have different possibilities. For this reason, active learning is so important mm -hmm. because the students mm -hmm. have direct involvement in the process of learning. They have experiential learning. They learn by doing. At the same time, the, the teachers should encourage multi-sensory learning, because um, when we use this, uh, this approach, all the senses are alert and the students have the opportunity to uh, use their senses to learn better. Um, and uh, the third principle is action and expression. So the third question uh, is, am I giving the students uh, opportunities to demonstrate um, what they have learned? Normally, I mentioned before, a written test is given at the end of a unit. And we know that this is not productive at all. Hmm? There are different ways. And remember that today we need to focus on um, the process of learning, not outcomes, not results. For this reason, when um, uh, we introduce um, active learning, multisensory learning, we, we are also introducing uh, or encouraging the students to use feedback and to use metacognition. And this feedback should not be um, used only by the teacher. Remember that you are encouraging the students to use feedback with their peers. But um, self-feedback is also very important because when students are able to express the way they feel they are improving or the weaknesses they are having, well, this is um, a situation in which we can detect the way they are um, uh, fixing mistakes and improving their learning. So when these three processes are taken into consideration, um, universal uh, design for learning is successful. 
Remember that when students are present in this type of atmosphere, they have different possibilities and they feel more confident because they have the support of the teacher and they are not afraid of participating because they know that mistakes are welcome and they know also that the, uh, all the mistakes uh, will be treated all together because there are common mistakes in the classroom. For this reason, it is so important to, to include this type of universal design for learning. But we should remember that it's universal, but sometimes this universality is represented in one school hmm? or within one classroom because each classroom is a completely different world. Mm? And we need to consider the type of students we are having in order to plan our lessons and decide uh, the school curriculum. Remember, when we um, design the school curriculum or when we are planning a lesson, first of all, we need to consider the type of students we have in the classroom. In the traditional model, content is more important than the potential the students bring to class. Well, this should be changed urgently. We cannot plan a lesson or consider the school project taking into consideration content. Hmm? Because when we uh, look up the word uh, curriculum in the, in the dictionary, we find that it is a, a set of subjects that are taught hmm, and learned. Well, no, it is. But content is not the ingredient that should be considered first. First, we need to think about the potential of the students. Uh, we need to know their backgrounds, their needs, their interests, their social mm, and family backgrounds. And when we take that into consideration, we know that the students will become successful learners. Thank you very much. Thank you, Patricia. Undoubtedly true. Um, uh, from your discussions, uh, we got uh, and our audience uh, a lot of important information about universal uh, design for learning. Hmm. In this stage, I would like to, uh, Talukda sir, please unmute your microphone. Uh, Talukda sir, are you there? Hello, Talukda sir, are you there? Uh, probably Talukda sir out of net. Uh, just Shagurika, Shaguri, can you clear to me how does universal design for learning facilitate progress for all students? Yeah, so how does it facilitate progress? It facilitates progress because universal learning, uh, after having heard um, Laila, after having heard Patricia, it is very clear that the, the universal method of learning is a holistic learning and it is 360 degree learning, you know, all the facets. So I would like to sum it up. I would like to sum up, uh, uh, I mean, uh, this is, that is, you know, uh, universal method of learning. How does it help is it is transdisciplinary. It is interdisciplinary and it is multidisciplinary. Okay. Yeah. When I say transdisciplinary, interdisciplinary, multidisciplinary, that is you know knowledge, knowledge, you can't segregate knowledge. You can't have knowledge with boundaries. Every, every topic, every topic can be connected to various other subjects. Also, if you're doing a subject, if like, for example, if you're doing uh, in maths, if you're taking say area, area of a rectangle. So that same area of a rectangle in science also can be connected to uh, maybe uh, you know area 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 and motion the the topic area and motion in science also and the same thing can be connected to even social science that is why is area so important why is the knowledge of area so important because you need to mark your boundaries so every knowledge cannot be taught independently and that is what universal knowledge is all about universal knowledge has to be transdisciplinary interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary so this is what is my take and this is what the importance is. Yeah. Thank you, Shagurika, for your discussions. Uh, Nasisar, please. Hello, Nasisar, are you there? Yes, 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 I am hearing. Uh, you are a regular member of our uh, family and discussions panel. So you know that about our today's program, please. Uh, if you say something about our uh, today's topic, please. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Mohda uh, Sruksana for giving me the chance to share my 
idea uh, about today's discussion matter. Uh, today's topic, uh, discussion of the weekly round table session uh, organized by We Bangladesh chapter. Uh, I am very happy to uh, present uh, uh, your organized such kind of uh, nice uh, program. Uh, I uh, I am very much pleased to hear uh, from Patricia Arbona and uh, uh, I am very much pleased to hear from Dr. Shagurika Roy Bhatia. Uh, she is always explaining uh, clearly uh, and uh, um, Laila Jacob uh, uh, nicely described and uh, our uh, today's uh, some uh, uh, teachers from Bangladesh as well as uh, 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 other countries. Uh, uh, I uh, know uh, Hidya Riai from Tunisia. Uh, she's an excellent lady. Uh, uh, she performed uh, some uh, training uh, program. I see our uh, Bangladeshi uh, some uh, good teachers uh, such as uh, Sayyid Muhammad uh, Khaled from Chattogram uh, and uh, uh, Mr. Shahabuddin uh, from uh, Kumilla and uh, Dr. Muhammad Alauddin from Kumilla and uh, uh, Muhammad Abdul Kader and as well as Muhammad Abdul Wahid, uh, Mr. Saifud Zaman uh, and uh, SM Akkas Ali. Uh, I, uh, I mean, uh, MD Akkach, uh, SM Akkas Ali from Greater Silit, uh, probably. Mm. Uh, I, uh, very much uh, uh, pleased and uh, I always uh, try to participate in such kind of uh, program uh, and it is very important uh, for our classroom teachers. Uh, today's uh, subject matter, universal design for learning. Uh, uh, I uh, Thanked Mr. Uh, Miss uh, Montaz Roxana. Uh, she always uh, shows a nice subject for roundtable discussion. Uh, I uh, miss uh, the last one or two session uh, organized by uh, Montaz Roxana. Uh, uh, today's program uh, probably thirty uh, first episode. Uh, organized by uh, Mamutas Ruksana uh, and uh, uh, our uh, roundtable, uh, this roundtable discussion uh, uh, regular, uh, regular uh, um, our uh, resource person Patricia Orbena and Shagurika Roy Bhatia uh, as well as Laila Jacob. Uh, uh, they are uh, always uh, uh, play an active role uh, for such kind of training program. Uh, I uh, thank Mr. Samsuddin Ahmed Talukdar sir, uh, sir uh, in present uh, disconnected, I mean, uh, uh, she's uh, always uh, play an important role uh, for a training program. I uh, end up my uh, space. Um, uh, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Roxana. Thank you, Nasir. Thank you, Nasir, sir, for your great sharing. Uh, just, um, I'm grateful to everyone uh, who has been involved in today's program, Women Abroad, especially my country. 
Uh, I hope you will listen and share uh, with us if uh, you have anything to say. Uh, all discussions are about changing the quality of our education. Just uh, I have a last question. Uh, Laila, please unmute your microphone. How do we use universal design for learning? Just two minutes, your time. <laughs> Our time is <laughs> Sorry, so I have to talk in a nutshell. Okay, I will try my level best. Uh, in a nutshell, I can say that there is a vast, drastic change in the attitude of the teachers to impart education at the right time to the learners by means of focusing on diverse devices which are available in the whole world. When we are thinking about the universality of education, then only we can impart the good morals in the children. We will be able to make them uh, globally competent and they will be able to have a better life standard of living as well as the lifestyle and even the power, um, better quality communication can also be ensured whenever the teacher is ready to understand. Because in the case of the previous uh, meetings also we were telling, just like in the case of the bank, KYC is there. Know your customer, know your student. Know your student, the teacher's policy should be knowing the student. If they know the student, the attitude and aptitude of the student, surely the teacher will be able to come down to that level of the student and she will be able to give the uh, right education or the right knowledge, I will say the right knowledge to the children and she will become a burning candle in front of them. Therefore, in order to wind up, I will say that today's topic, universal uh, design for learning is up to for the present era, the present situation. And we, as we are educated, we should always try to inculcate the universal values in the minds of the children because it is in us, through us, this transformation can take place. Just like Sagariya Mama's already told, it should be transdisciplinary, interdisciplinary, and multidisciplinary. English cannot be separated from science. Science cannot be separated from history or geography. Math cannot be separated from the other subject. Every subject is interdependent. Just like we are interdependent, our organs of body are interdependent. So why we should think that we are uh, we are alone? We are not alone. We have to fight for the to change the traditional method to bring the modern method, to make a change, let us be the agents of transformation in the case of education. That is what I wish for, and surely we will be able to achieve that particular target. Thank you so much, Mamda ma'am. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Laila, for your short discussions. <laughs> I have finished a limited time. So now we will finish with everyone's permission, just our time is so short. Many thanks for making for program a success for so long. Uh, thank you because today's uh, 31st episode has been complete with your cooperation, communication, collaboration. Uh, so uh, we need to vary our of our global uh, recent epidemic. So we have to um, make arrangements to keep ourselves healthy and our so. Um, um next time we will uh, see all of you new topics new events uh till then it's too well god bless you all Maria wants to say something Madma. thank you yes. she has raised her, her hand and if you say, say something um, patricia please you say something please just... no i i i have just said that Hedia has raised her hand, she wants to say something. You are welcome, Heria, to say whatever you want. Well, there is a hand there that indicated that she, she wants to speak. <laughs> That's why I'm saying that. All right. Well, what just, can we say? Just our up? audience, um, uh, our uh, Heria uh, yeah. probably says something, wants to say something. Heria, 
Well, she waited for so long, probably she got tired. <laughs> uh, our remaining time just to one minute and 54 seconds. So, so uh, does anybody say something? Yes, you can. Thank you very much, Mamata uh, Zuruksana Akhtar. Thank you very much, Patricia from Argentina, and thank you uh, all of you. Uh, this is my first time uh, to join with you, and uh, also I am affiliated with a few uh, on an international organization uh, like educational platform. But uh, I know uh, more about uh, your session uh, today. I join uh, uh, by invited uh, others uh, like. Uh, Muhammad, uh, Dr. Muhammad Alauddin. So thank you very much, all of you. I think I would like to uh, join uh, again in uh, your session. Uh, so uh, kindly, if you share uh, 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 properly uh, your uh, discussion panel uh, schedule, then I will join uh, uh, to, with you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your, you. Uh, sh sharing. Uh, and don't worry, this is our regular uh, program. Uh, weekly uh, World Educator Bangladesh chapter organized by just weekly roundtable session. So I hope that uh, you are all of uh, join uh, our next sessions next Tuesday. Uh, new events, new topics. Uh, Igna, uh, please just one minute, less than one minute for our remaining time. Please. Inga. Uh, no, uh, no, I think uh, she is left uh, due to uh, connectivity issue. Okay, okay. So, so, so um, uh, goodbye all and see you next Tuesday, next event, next program. Thank you. Till then, okay. stay well. Bye. 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 B